What do you make of the news? Maybe you can update it in terms of life being discovered in the atmosphere of, of Venus. Is that sorry? Okay, you have opinion. I can already tell you have opinions. Was that fake news? I got excited. I saw that. What's the what's the final? Uh, is there a life on Venus? So the detection that was reported was yeah. the detection of the molecule phosphine, mm -hmm. um, and they said. They tried every other mechanism they could think of to produce phosphine, and they none of no mechanism worked. And then they said, "Well, we know that life produces phosphine," and so that was sort of the the train of logic. And um, I don't personally believe that phosphine was detected in the first place. Okay, so the, uh, I mean, this is just one study, but I, as a layman, am skeptical a little bit about tools that sense the contents of an atmosphere, like contents of at an atmosphere from remotely and making conclusive statements about life. Oh, yeah. Well, that connection that you just made, the contents of the atmosphere to the life yeah. is, is a tricky one. And yeah, I know that that claim received a lot of criticism for the lines of logic that went from detection to, uh, to claim of life. Even the detection itself, though, did, doesn't doesn't meet the sort of historical scientific standards yeah. of of a detection. Um, the it was a very tenuous detection, and only one line of the species was detected. And a lot of really complicated data analysis methods had to be applied to even make that weak detection. Yeah. Um, so it could be it could be noise, it could be polluted data, it could be all the, all those things, and so it doesn't have it doesn't meet the the level of uh, rigor that you would hope. But of course, I mean, we're doing our best, and it's clear that uh, the human species are hopeful to find life. Clearly, yes, <laughs> everyone is so excited about that possibility.